Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Great Book of Grudges. My name is Nathan, and we're back with another Total War Warhammer video. Today, we're going to once again talk about Clan Mulder and its missing units, because I like to drag a dead horse. But this time, we're going to focus around mods, because I have two mods to show you, which will introduce the missing units from the Help It list. The first is Flayerkin, Mulder's missing units. This mod, of course, adds in the Flayerkin, the only human unit available to the Skaven from way back then in Sixth Edition. The second mod is Mulder's Menagerie, which adds in a plethora of new units, such as the Chimera Rat, the Armored Rat Ogre, Giant Rats, and more. Some of these mods were already available before the Twisted and the Twilight, however, the modders themselves have been working overtime in an effort to create more monsters, and this is absolutely awesome. I myself complained a tad about the lack of units, especially from such an iconic list from way back in 6th edition, so it's nice to see them being implemented by mods. But let's not waste any more time and check out the units in question. As you can see on screen, a bunch of units have been added in through these mods. Some are more complex than others, but it brings in a different variety. Clan Mulder itself is very heavily focused on monsters, and I believe that they should have maybe added in a few more units. Now, don't get me wrong, I do understand that they couldn't add in that much. That would have taken away from the Wood Elves, who, let's be honest, already had the short end of the stick, as any faction who has a DLC against the Skaven normally does. It is entirely possible that we'll see them implemented in the future, as we are fully aware that Creative Assembly really like their Skaven, very much like Games Workshop, but until then, we can enjoy the mods, thankfully. The first unit is the Burrowing Behemoth. Cute, isn't it? This naked mole rat is built for siege warfare, a single entity monster with a fairly large health pool. This monster has terror and frenzy, but what really makes it shine above all others is the fact that it can also attack walls. You won't need basic siege equipment, you can just smash down the walls without even bothering to use a siege tower. This is the beast they use to make the tunnels around help it large and essentially blind, but it's nothing short of absolutely destructive. The next unit is the Giant Rat. I know I originally said that the Wolf Rats might have been the most adorable thing added in for the Skaven, but the Giant Rats take that place by far. These were an absolutely favourite unit of mine on the tabletop, expendable, poor leadership meat shields, but they were extremely cheap. And with this mod, they work exactly the same way in Total War Warhammer. Use them as fast Skaven slaves, that's essentially their role. If you want to tie up any specific units, or maybe a war machine, but rather use your wolf rats to flank your enemy, the giant rats are there to do just that. They are throwaway units. The next unit is the Aberration, Unbreakable Rampaging Monsters. Think of these as the Skaven variant of the Chaos Spawn. Weaker, of course, but still there to do damage. These are horrifying monstrosities, essentially the failed experiments, in a way, of many master mutators. Law-wise, these creatures cry out to be put down. Visually, they're supposed to be more akin to more of Chaos Spawn in a sense, but this representation, and also using the Mongols animations, makes it look like it is screaming in pain. I think it's represented rather well. Next we have the Flayerkin. These are the only non-rat-like warriors to really be featured in a Skaven army list. The Flayerkin are former warriors of Chaos and Norska who have disappointed their warlords and thus were sent to help it for punishment. Since then, they have been completely changed, they are nothing but mindless warriors, and they are represented as such in the mod. Armor piercing, anti-infantry, but their real benefit is that that they are built for siege warfare, quickly regaining vigor when fighting atop of a wall. I know you might be saying that they might not be the most visually impressive out of all of them, however, I think they look alright. And the modder who created this unit is actively looking for someone to create a new model for the unit itself. 
However, until then, I think the Forsaken covered in Warpstone works rather well, and if I can be completely honest, I'd say it really doesn't need to change. Next we have the Armored Radoger. Of course, there's not really much to talk about here. Use them exactly the same way as you would Radogers, but now they have the benefit of being heavily armored. That being said, they still only have 70 armor, so they're not going to be as well kitted in terms of defense as, say for example, Chaos Chosen. It's still a monstrous infantry unit, which still has kinda bad leadership, so don't expect these monsters to be able to hold enemy lines by themselves, but hey, that's why you have Packmasters and Frot the Unclean for. And finally, we have the Chimera Rat. Yes, I know I don't pronounce it correctly, but that's the name I've given the monster myself way back in the day when this army list was actually released. Yes, I've been playing Warhammer Fantasy Battle for that long. Actually, a little bit longer than that. Of course, this is a very famous monster added in for the workshop. One of Chaos Robbie's massive successes. One of many, of course, but this one is what made me aware of him myself. A reskin of the Dark Elf Hydra, with Warp Fire Breath, a missile breath weapon, it's anti-infantry, causes terror, and has regeneration. This is a massive monster, and it looks absolutely insane. If you've not used it yet, you're gonna absolutely love using it with this mod. It's one of my favorite creatures, and it's nice to see it being used with a proper clan molder list now. Of course, all these monsters are available in multiplayer, but can also be recruited in your campaign. All you simply need to do is build up through the breeding stock building tree. The monsters themselves are evenly distributed through all of the four building tiers of this building tree, and it won't really be long for you to unlock them all. Stat-wise, I think they're all done fairly well, and it brings in a new flavor for Clan Molder. Now you can go full monster, but also try and play it like you would normally. Let me just give you some basic examples as we watch these monsters in combat. So, say for example, replacing all your Skaven slaves with giant rats. Your wolf rats then would be your clan rats. You could also use your flayerkin as a replacement for clan rats too, as they would be your only unit that would be able to climb atop of walls. Then you could use Rat Ogres and Armored Rat Ogres as a monstrous version of Storm Vermin, with your Mutant Rat Ogres, Borrowing Behemoth, Chimera Rat, Brood Horrors, Helped Abomination, and all the others to act as a form of replacement to your War Machines. This is of course if you want to go for Monster, but still have some sort of lore-friendly experience rather than going for Doomstack. But of course, that is completely up to you. Now, these mods can be found in the description below should you want to try them out, and if you're looking for a fun Clan Molder experience with only monsters, this is actually really fun. As always, should you have any mods that you'd like to recommend to potentially be featured on this channel, you can always suggest it in the comments below, or may I suggest joining the official Great Book of Grudges Discord, the link of which you can also find in the description below, where it's much easier to get in contact with me. But with that, my friends, we've come to the end of our video. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, might I suggest giving the video a like, or even subscribing to the channel, as it really does help us out. In the description section below are various links to different social media platforms, such as Facebook, Instagram, and Discord. Also in the description section is an affiliate link with Element Games where you could buy loads of hobby-based products, not just Warhammer, for 10 to 25% off. Making a purchase using that link and also our special code, which is also in the description, supports the channel at no extra cost to you, which we think is rather cool. A big thank you to our patrons, your support means the world to us, it's amazing that people want to help a small channel like us grow and get to a higher level of content. A big thank you to Gibraltar LUSC, Ryan Birch, Andrew Prince and Okro for subscribing to us at our fame level, you guys are super cool. And a big thank you to Edward Yule, VS Fasan, Aaron Whitman and Shaggy for subscribing to us at our king level, honestly we can't thank you all enough. And lastly, a big thank you to all of you for liking, sharing, and commenting on these videos. Honestly, it's because of you guys that the channel's been growing at such a great pace lately, so we can't thank you all enough. But with that, my friends, thank you so much for watching once again, and we shall see you all again very, very soon. Have a good day.